Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, so this video is, I've been waiting to film. It's gonna be like first impressions, get ready with me, or pew, I don't know. Um, I guess it wouldn't be a true review. review. Um, yeah, so um, if you guys remember my haul, um, I got, got a bunch of new products and I've yet to try any of them. That's kind of how motivated I have been to wearing makeup and I actually left a few things out of the haul like um I forgot about I got this eyeshadow from palette from um Shop Miss A. I also got some other things from the what is it called? What is it called? Bad Habit? Or was it no, Alter Ego. Bad Habit was the one that went out of business, right? And, or maybe it's vice versa. One of those two. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like I haven't even opened it yet. It's still in the shipping package. Um, so, yeah, so over the course of, I don't know, um, I'll be like reviewing things, but I'll also be doing um, um, other things. Like um, by now, my... Um, Shopping Club review, the first part is up. Um, I encourage you guys to watch that. Um, if you have been curious, um, or if you're curious about um, having a lot of your major products delivered to you. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry guys. I just get really, like, nerve pains. So, um... Yeah. All right. Oh. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. So let's kind of get into this. Um. I do have. Uh. What, what am I calling it? A Zoom reunion. Um. At seven. That's not it. Um. So. Um, I wanted to try the makeup that I bought from Shein. Um, and let me see here. I haven't really, I haven't tried any of this, guys, so this is a, really a first impression, um, type video. Um, it might be a long one, because I haven't even opened the packaging. So, yeah, um... I don't even remember everything I bought to be honest. I, I thought I, I know I'm pretty sure I bought a full face. I just don't know where. Um, I got this cool new like carousel thing um, that I decided to put my brushes in. Um, all these are my face brushes. My eye brushes are in it, like in a glass container. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I used to have them um, at a couple of these type. Of containers that I was putting my brushes in and they were just all right here and I thought that would and it was like taking up a lot of space so I thought just going taller would be better but anyways let's get back to this um concealer um, lipstick okay so all right so what I'm what I don't seem to have um, is a primer. Um, yeah, I don't seem to have a primer. I'm just looking around, um, to make sure I didn't buy one and just put it somewhere else. Hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it. So I guess I'm just going to go in with the color. Um, I won't be, I mean it is warm in here, but I won't be wearing this makeup for a long time as it is 6 o'clock already. So, oh my goodness guys. I, so this is the box. So this is the um, Shein Silky Matte Liquid Foundation Flawless Coverage in the shade Light Beige. Um, as I said in the haul video, beige is spelled wrong on the packaging. But it comes in this, oh, look at that. See that? It's dirty. But it comes in this nice bottle. And uh, with the velvet cover. 
or velvet like cover okay so this is not good already um it has already leaked and I have not even opened this <sighs> um yeah so um that's not good and it's really gross um let's see if I can don't have a makeup wipe on near here, so we're just gonna have to clean this up later. I'm using a really dirty napkin, guys. It's gross. Um, but yeah. This is nasty. So, that is a fail. So, first of all, it could have been my fault, like, because I haven't opened the packaging. And so it's just been sitting here in the packaging for quite some time. Um, it's a doe foot applicator, which I don't really love, but, um, we'll give it a try. I, I'll use, I don't have any of my sponges wet, so we're going to use, what, this paddle brush thing. What is it called? I don't know what these things are called. So, I'm missing a mirror, aren't I? Oh yeah, let's right a mirror right here. That's kind of what I need is like a kind of a face mirror right here, but this will work. So, and I don't have my um, hair up, so I'm just going to dab it. Um, yeah. Looks like it might be too much. There is kind of like a perfumey scent to it. Um, I don't know. Um, okay. So, coverage. It is a, uh, well. It's kind of pink. Um, pulls more pink. Um, but I can make work. Um, typically. Um, I am more of yellow, I find, or I'm more of a neutral, technically, but um, yeah. Well, okay, so it doesn't, it is matte, definitely matte, um, doesn't look terrible, um, my lighting's kind of bad because it is, the sun is setting, um, I don't, I do have, um, my hair is all messed up, um, so yeah, it is matte and I feel like it definitely needs a primer, like a pore filling primer. Um, because it does accentuate pores. Um, yeah. Something just happened with my phone. I don't know what. Um, yeah. It does look horrible, though, to be honest. Um, but I would definitely use a primer, pore filling primer. Um, and if you have, oh my gosh, oh, look at that, never mind, it's a pump, oh, this, the whole thing was, like, in there, and like I said, this is nasty, um, so it's not a gel foot, it has a pump, just the whole thing was, like, twisted off in there, and yeah, so, that makes things easier, um, yeah um so what should we do next um let's work with the eyes i like to do concealer last and um let me try to get this plastic off 
So how is everyone doing, to be honest? Like, I'm just... I'm just over everything that's happening in the U.S. Or, I mean, it's not COVID. Like, I mean, I'm tired of that. I'm tired, like, of everything opening and shutting. You know, um, things are pretty much open here. Um, they just have to keep it to a certain capacity. And some restaurants, well, all of us restaurants are kind of required to take name and phone number. Um, but not all restaurants are up, or are doing that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't quite feel comfortable giving anyone my name and phone number. Um, take care of that later. Um, I don't have. Um, I don't have, um, an eye primer, yeah, so I'm just gonna put it on, and maybe this is the best way to test it without primers, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. So the packaging is just very clean, chic. Let's see how it looks when you open it. Oh, this is not even the eyeshadow. This is the contour palette. This is the eyeshadow palette. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so I'm just tired about, like, I mean, yeah, just the fact that this pandemic has had on businesses and things like that. And, you know, I have my own views which people might not agree with um and that, that's fine you know um i've done a lot of my own research um apart from what the media tells me um yeah um just like well i haven't actually checked the cdc website in quite a while because i'm just over it at all but yeah Um, yeah, but, you know, just, there's other things going on besides the pandemic, some, like, real, like, moral issues going on that make me really sad. Um, yeah, so this is the eyeshadow palette, it's called Blossom Palette, and let's see, I have nine shadows, which. I don't know what to get to, apparently. There we go, just peels off. Guess it is. Um, yeah. So no primer. Um, we're gonna, this is, the color, shade down here is called Ochre. Is that a MAC color, name of a MAC shadow? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go in, in the crease in that color. Um, I'm using a Sonia Kashuk number eight brush. Um, Cause that's just what I happened to pick up, and let's take that off. Well, we have elections coming up, which I'm not that excited about, to be honest, because I feel like the, this election was much like the last, is there's no good candidate between the two major parties. And I honestly wish that, um, I know it's never, probably never going to happen, but like, that we can maybe just look into, um, people, candidates from the other parties that never get voted for anything. What if like 
do a better job. They, their parties just don't have the funds for advertising, you know, so, um, which is kind of sad. It's left, up, left us between choosing between red or blue, Democrat or Republican, and I don't, I'm not really into any other choices. Just like I wasn't into any of the choices last year, or not last year, last election. Um... Yeah, I don't really vote. Um, I'm gonna go into let's do carnation. This street right here. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna put this on the lid. Um, yeah, I don't really like to get, well, I don't get political at all, like, um, but I typically don't talk about politics because I feel like no one agrees on anything anyways, so, like, and I'd rather just focus on good stuff. Um, doesn't mean, like, I don't talk about it all, like, I don't talk about publicly, but, no, it is something that, I you know. It's a huge topic right now. I have not never seen like more division. Um, probably it's is it what is it more division than last election? Do you think? Um, what or less? I don't know. Um, yeah, like, anyways, other than that, I don't care to get into it, though. Um, yeah, uh, there's also been fires everywhere throughout, um, this one throughout, um, the West Coast, it appears like. I thought it was just California, but it's Oregon also, so I do know people who live there. Um. Okay, we'll go into May, I think, which is the shade down here. Um, this kind of outer corner that brush I haven't put on my shadow in forever. If it looks horrible, please forgive me. Um, yeah. Sorry about the noise, it's apparently the wind is blowing my blinds. Or maybe it's a fan, I don't know. Probably the fan, I have no idea. Yeah, um, but let's, you know, I think what most people can agree on is, um, it's going to daffodil. Um, is this whole, well, I, don't, I do, I say most people out of hope, um, but, you know, I think most people can agree on the ridiculousness and this, just the evilness of, like, trying to normalize pedophilia, basically, um, you know, and I feel like that's happening. I mean, I already knew that it was going to happen, um, I just didn't know it would be this soon, like, um, like, this is something that uh, my, one of my professors had talked about in one of our classes, and, yeah, I guess it was talked about, like, four years ago, or never took that class, but, or prior to that, and so she knew about it and shared this information with us which was very disappointing. Um, yeah. Alright. Um, so that is the eye lick, and I went into Daffodil for, like, this 
sparkliness of it all. Um, so far I'm impressed. Like the pigment is small. Well, it's not as pigment. So the mattes are not as pigmented as I thought. But then I feel like the um the sh like shimmer shades um are very are pretty pigmented. Um, but like I don't hate it because I oftentimes don't like a strong strong pig pigment on my eyeshadow. I prefer to be able to build it up. Um, so yeah, um, so let's go ahead and set, no, we'll wait to set, um, let's do eyeliner, why not, right? So I got it in black, this is the She Glam Dazzling Star Eyeliner, um, packaging is pretty sparkly, I hope. Well, to be honest, like, guys, like, sometimes I think outside the box and just, yeah, just get, like, random fun makeup, but it would probably only wear towards the holidays. Um, yeah. If you're in the U.S. and you're watching this, like, have you considered, and I'm asking everyone this, to be honest, have you considered, like, moving out of the country? Like, so, like, the packaging is super pretty. It's super cute. Um. So typically when I do eyeliner, this side is usually pretty perfect or perfect for me and I usually mess up on this side like I, the line gets too big and then I have to go redo this side. I don't know, like maybe I just should not use liquid eyeliner, I don't know. Sorry for the silence, guys. I need to focus. Okay. Alright. Um, this is not bad. see this side too well. Okay. What? Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm not so far. That's pretty good. Like I was able to control that really well. Um. Yeah. Let's go in with the mascara. Um, I really want to like. Spend, um, more time 
filming videos, it really, it's really relaxing for me, um, to be honest, like, I don't, I don't really know who I'm talking to, right? It feels like I'm talking to myself, <laughs> this is like the only way I can, you know, people can get away with talking to themselves, because any other context you'd be deemed, like, psychotic or something like that, um, no offense to anyone who's diagnosed with a mental illness, though. I, you guys know I'm a therapist, so I, um, well, I have no, obviously, um, I have the most respect for anyone struggling. I mean, I was diagnosed with depression last year, which you guys probably didn't know about, but I was. Um, just going through a lot of changes last year, which you guys, if you've watched me before in my videos from last year, you probably know. Um, yeah. Um, let's see if we can beat the clock, guys. Standard, well, it's not really a standard, well, I guess it is, like, standard bristles. I think um, it's like tapered. So let's see. I typically don't like um, these kind of brushes, so it is appearing to be a drier formula, um, which is what I tend to go for. Um, Okay, um, so I'm not really loving this mascara. It dries quickly, guys. So you gotta work fast. Um, this is the She Glam Outrageous Curl. What? She Glam Perfect Curling Mascara? I'm very confused. This is the She Glam Outrageous Curl WTP, whatever that means. So, um, this is the box. This is the actual mascara tube. I don't know why there's a difference. Um, yeah, so I don't like this, guys. Like, it just um, clumped my lashes together. Um, so I do like volume volumizing mascaras. Um, I don't generally need the length, so I like volumizing, but I don't like it when they clump my lashes together. So yeah, that's a no-go for me. Um, let's try the concealer out. So this is in light. Somehow open it. Um. I feel like I was in the middle of asking you guys a question and I completely forgot. Or maybe I did ask it. Um, did I? Did I ask you guys if like you'd consider moving out of the country? I don't remember. Yeah, I have a really bad short-term memory. Great long-term memory, but, you know, really bad short-term memory. Um, I feel like it's been getting worse lately. Um, I don't, especially like just sitting here talking, I don't remember what I said or not. Yeah. Um, I should have brought scissors over here. I think I have scissors over there though. Um, yeah. Just wondering. Something that, you know, it has come up between me and my husband. Not like seriously talking and considering about it, 
that like it has come up so but I'm just like thinking about it more and more lately um of course there's no, every country has issues right and so you just have to um you have to want to um you have to know like I guess what country or you would be willing to um move like like what is your what is your definition of being a better country I guess um I was looking into Vietnam today to be honest um because I just didn't know I am half Vietnamese and I am not fluent like I understand um, the language more than I speak, but I am trying to learn to speak more. Um, my goal is to become um, a bilingual Vietnamese speaking therapist. Um, yeah. So if it was a concealer, it's very light, yellow toned. Um, yeah, so far, I feel like I have something in my eye, but I don't know what. Anyways, um, I think I really do feel like I have to make my eye. I'm not sure what got in my eye. Maybe it's like hair? An eyelash or something? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be annoying, but oh well. Show must go on. <laughs> um, yeah. So the concealer. Um, it's actually not too bad. Um, a little like I have super dry under eyes, so like I feel like anything. Um. This is this, the makeup powder. It says basically it's a setting powder. Oh, what is this? There's like something in here. Oh, interesting. So, see, so you guys remember when those um, foundation, what, it, what, what, what were they called? Like, they're like foundation, like in a compact. Um, like, there's like a sponge on top. What I can't remember the name of it, to be honest. Um, yeah, when those were pretty popular, this is kind of the same concept. Um, but it's powder and it goes through this sifter that you just press the puff on. It's actually pretty interesting, and I think I like it better than what I have. So, um, I'm just pressing. Um, on like my T zone area, really. Okay. Um, oh, I do have an eyelash right there. Oh, 
I won't. <laughs> I'm tempted to just stick my finger in there and get it, but I won't. And that might be gross to some of you. So, um, let's see if I could move it. Okay, so it's like not in my per my view, anyways. Um. Yeah, so I kind of like this powder to be honest. Like, um, yeah. So this is the She Glam Natural Color Makeup Powder in Natural Color, I guess. Um, so I actually kind of like it. It is pretty finely milled, very silky, I think. Um, yeah. Let's do the lips now. Or should we do contour? Let's do the contour, to be honest. I'm like really wanting to play with the contour. Sorry, y'all. I keep checking the time. Oh, what brush do I want to use? Let's do this one. It says foundation brush, but I don't use it as a contour. Hmm. There's three shades here. These two are prettier on the red side. This one's kind of grayish. We'll do this one. Oh, maybe I should check. There's no dark hair on my brushes. Well, there typically is. My dog sheds like no tomorrow. Like seriously, um, he sheds like all year. Oh, let's see, gross. Um, he sheds like all year. Um, but like during this time of year, it's like the worst. Let's kind of not mix that up a little bit. Let's go. In. So the one I used was Noble Tent. Tint? Tint? Um, let's just kind of mix it with Tanned Goddess. Kind of soften it a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Um, I feel like, what is my thoughts on this? Like, it's not bad. I feel like it's harder to blend though. What I'm noticing. Yeah, it's definitely like harder to blend out. So that's something that I really like about this.
seriously. Reminds me of this is a blush and tangerine. It reminds me of another brand. Just don't remember which one it was. Um, what do I want to use for blush here? Let's use this one. super powdery. Let's see if this brush will work. This might be a little bit too like not dense. What is, I don't know, too few br bristles I guess. want a strong blush. I never really like a strong blush, so this might be perfect though. There's definitely color coming on the cheeks, so... Um... Be with that to be honest, like, I don't like a strong blush anyway, so that's fine. And then that was a blush. Okay, knocking a lot of stuff over. Um, let's try the highlight. I also bought like shorts from Shein, um, which you wouldn't be able to tell, but I'm wearing one pair now. I brought two more. I do like the other two pairs better than the ones I'm wearing. Well, I like the style of the ones I'm wearing, I guess, more. Um, but, like, I just wish they were longer. And the zipper is not the greatest. Um, but they're really cute. I think all of them are cute, but yeah. We've been looking for more jean shorts. Does this is look like okay? Um, let's try this brush. This is from Avon. I don't know. Oh, this is the, the highlighter in Lightning Dust, and it's a chrome highlighter. Um, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some sheen there. It's not too intense. I don't think it's too intense. I can't really tell right now. Um, I need to be in better lighting to tell. Yeah, it's very subtle. Um, eh, it's just okay, not my favorite. Um, last thing is lips. To be honest, my lips are pretty dry. Okay. Come on. I can't spend all day in packaging here. Um. This 
really quiet in my house. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's just me and my husband and our dog, but because, I don't know, has his headphones on or something. Okay, this is the um, lip liner, long lasting waterproof lip liner, rose petal. Oh, seriously, this is insane. Just in a really sleek looking packaging. And there's bye you guys. Really long time. Buddy, go lay down. So actually, this was really creamy. I actually really like this. Um, liquid velvet lip glass? No. No. Long lasting. Um, the long lasting matte lipstick and then the lip glass. Um, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's in the shade Beach Babe. Okay, here we go again. This is the hardest packaging to open, I swear. I shouldn't swear. Alright. Ooh, look at this. This is interesting. That's pretty. Pretty. Definitely pretty. <coughs> Definitely a pretty color. Matches the lip liner pretty good, pretty well. Um, it is a cheap plastic packaging, but it looks pretty from far. The thing that when you're holding it, like it feels cheap. Um, so yeah. Okay, and then the lip gloss. So this is, it doesn't even go. I don't think this is in the shade bare pink. Um, which might be too pink. Huh? It's definitely like lightened up the color a little bit. Pretty moisturizing. I don't hate it. I actually kind of like this. Um, but yeah. So this is the finished look. Um, the only thing that I really didn't like was the mascara. Um, yeah. The other things, like, I could, I could see myself using it again. Um, but it, it's just like, is, is it my favorite product ever? No. But I could definitely see myself using it. Um, except I didn't. Except for maybe the mascara. But yeah, so that is um, everything. And um, yeah, if you like to see an update or review, like after I've worn this for a couple hours, um, I probably wouldn't show it on camera, but I, will de I could definitely talk about it, come back to and make another video and talk about my final thoughts or use it a few more times and talk about my final thoughts. But yeah. Sorry that this video is 15 minutes long. That is crazy. I'll see what I can do to like cut it down. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.